welcome to Conan Exiles, the Isle of Sipta, a brand spanking new expansion that's just come out for Conan Exiles, a beloved open world survival game set in the world of Conan the Barbarian, available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and some of y'all fans of the channel might actually recall our pretty long-running series we had on it back in the day when it originally came out into early access a few years ago, so we're popping back in to check out the Isle of Sipta today. So the Isle of Sipta provides a fresh new start on a new island map where everyone starts a new character on new servers with new possibilities, making it a perfect opportunity to jump into Conan Exiles, whether you're returning to the game or a first time player. And the island itself is dope. It's a new map. It's big and it offers many interesting locations like the Redwood Forest in the east, Camp of the Castaways in the north, the Tower of Sipta in the center, the Island of Thria in the southeast, and the ruins of Excotil in the east, with 14 new dungeons called vaults that hold brand new monsters of the elder races and will reward you with great treasures, a sigil of power, and the new Eldarium resource. And another big thing about this expansion is the storm in the center of the island that rages around the tower. The storm has many new horrors to fight. The sigils found in the vaults will help you deal more damage to the monster in the storm. These monsters can be harvested for a new resource, which can then be used to control surges of sorcery. Portals bringing human NPCs from the exiled lands to the island, which spawn from the towers. If you want to go ahead and learn more about the Isle of Sipta and potentially even get it for yourselves, make sure to click on the link at the very tippity top of the description. And I want to say a huge thank you to Coded Exiles for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. I'm so excited to pop into this and, well, have some more Coded Exiles fun for the first time in a while. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's begin our journey and here we are beginning our journey as you can see our ship has crashed and we're tasked with creating our character y'all can see you can customize things like race you're actually your religion or it does have some gameplay elements tied into it as well i'm gonna be following yoga because uh cannibalism lol and then on top of it you can customize things like your voice your head options all of which i have already went ahead and customized and you can also like randomize the things too over there on the right but uh overall i'm pretty happy with how things are we're going to be starting in the southeast as our start location so you can actually choose where you start and without further ado i believe it's time to finalize the character let's begin ah and here we are beginning our journey on the shores just as i uh, did uh, say so holy guacamole that is a beautiful tower but we gotta go and get a few things started as you guys can see oh what is this over here hey what up vulture you die vulture does not seem to care that's all right why don't we go and do a little bit of loot in here Boop. and see what we can't be able to pick up off these lads because again it is an open world survival game at its core so uh i'm gonna be doing exactly some of that here's the dead people from our ship well <laughs> scrubs couldn't even survive get good kids oh and we got some nice resources it's a get things started. And don't mind me just picking up a bunch of junk off the ground. Just your local groundsman keeping things nice and clean. Nah, I actually need these resources to uh, build up a few of the things we need. Like that bed, bedroll, craft some tools, you know. So for now, I will say goodbye to this beautiful wreckage. Well, it's not really beautiful. Actually, a lot of people died. But I'll say goodbye to it for now. And we'll start our journey inland and if y'all are unfamiliar with conan exiles this isn't something that we have to go about alone there are actually the ability for us to like recruit followers to actually work for us and you know we can actually start building up a village a town that will then uh, are these things aggressive hello how you doing there birdie squawked at me do you want to kill me hello okay well hopefully it's chill with me hey birdie what are you doing how are you? Ah, okay. This makes me very uncomfortable. I'm being attacked by a bird. No, 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 no. I just wanted to walk in here to gather some plant fiber and stuff. Ah, it's still chasing me. No. Oh, what is this? I've come across the scavenger coast. A hot diggity dog. Okay, that thing appears to have given up on me. Bless up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and uh, stay away from the burbs for now. Oh, more dead people. Exactly what I was looking for. Anyways, I gotta go ahead and craft up a little bit of twine over here so I can just get a bedroll built and then I'm going to be setting out on trying to... First off, I do want to level up because I think right around level 20 should be a good time. 
for us to, to actually go and explore the Den of a Wolf of Brothers, which is actually around the Southeast Forest area, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. So let's just go ahead and I need to pick up a little bit of plant fiber. Luckily, not too hard. There's plenty of resources around here to be had. Hopefully these birds lay off me until I get like some stuff crafted up. Boop. And let's just go ahead and craft up that bedroll that I was speaking of. And then as we do get these levels, mm -mm -mm, we do have some points. We can go ahead and start investing into some of our various attributes. I kind of would not mind going into vitality, which will give us a little bit more health. Let's go and level up one in vitality, a little bit of strength. And honestly, some encumbrance, which should actually allow us to carry more. I'm a bit of a hoarder myself, so I'm pretty cool with that. And we can learn some brand spanking new recipes here as well. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I think that the Apprentice Mason will uh, come in rather in handy. It'll give us a lot of the ability of, you know, actually crafting up some bases and stuff like that. Our own base, not bases. It's not going to have ourselves plural bases. Whoa, 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 whoa. calm down. Uh, here's actually the Thrall Taker, which is where we actually do need to get this, uh, whatchamacallit, these recipes to actually recruit Thralls, which are like kind of like villagers in a way except we kind of like force them to like us and work for us and they can work various of the buildings that we work on we can bring them out uh they can like defend our village i believe we can bring them out with us to uh attack as well oh no the bird's back the bird's back oh back it up birdie holy guacamole i can't take a breather anywhere i'm gonna go chill on this ship hopefully the bird does not know how to get into here oh no bro okay Back it up, bird. Back it up. No, no, no. You can't climb up this. He can climb. He can climb. No, no. Oh, I'm picking take for birds again. Why do birds hate me so much? Crikey, mate. I got to say, very territorial, those things are. Oh, let's go and craft ourselves up some of these basic tools, though, in the form of a stone pick and a stone hatchet. And then this pit of Yogg is actually, you don't remember how we follow and worship Yogg? This is actually, uh, there's this whole kind of like religious, like, there's this whole kind of like god worshipping aspect to this where we're worshipping some like the gods of Conan Exiles. And Yogg is the god that we do choose to follow. And ultimately, through the pits of Yogg, we can get kind of like specific things specific to Yogg. Like, for example, I think it enables cannibalism, <laughs> as weird as that sounds. But uh, and eventually, we can actually summon Yogg as a giant freaking avatar the size of many sizes. To actually do our bidding, which is freaking insane. All right, and I'm not gonna lie, lads. I think what might be next up is for us to continue leveling up a little bit. We could probably start building up a basic base. Uh, I want to level up, and I would like to, well, get some weapons, actually. I currently have none of those things, and I would like them. We can also go ahead and, uh, whatchamacallit, craft up some basic recipes over here for some clothing so we are not completely naked. Hello, uh, I need to pick up a little bit more of the plant fiber so we can continue crafting the rest of what we had. Woohoo! <laughs> Clothe yourself, man. We are making crazy progress through this, baby. And let's, of course, get the coarse tunic. Is slotted up as well. Y'all can also see have a handful of insects over there with a timer at the bottom. That means that they are going to expire. That's right. We got to eat. Um, nom, 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 nom. We got to chow down on some insects because your boy likes not starving. And I also just had a few berries over there I ate on as well. Because in the top left-hand corner, you guys can see some of those uh, status bars we got to Tr gotta try and keep in check. I want to take this opportunity, though, to get a little bit of the choppy chopping going. Let's get ourselves a bit of a few trees here. Oh, hold up. Dead people. I didn't even notice these dead guys. Man, I mean, they don't really have anything crazy besides some basic materials, but... I'll take what I can get back. Get up, bird. I see you. Listen, when I get a spear, you're done for. You're done, no, son. Why don't we continue exploring inland, actually? Because I don't want to build completely on the coast. As we do start building up our initial shelter. But dang. Look at this place, dude. Less birds. I'm in love already. <laughs> what is up here, however? I do know that these kind of like structures, at least in the base game. Yet you ten. No! Wolf! Back! Back fell beast! Oh, I don't really have the best weapon for killing this thing. Ah, I'm running! I'm running! Okay, I'm crafting a weapon first before I go back here. <laughs> Wolf! Have you met the birds? Would you like to attack a bird instead? Please don't attack me. What have I ever done to you besides smack you with the freaking axe? Okay, you still following me. Yeet. Let's jump off that a little bit. Oh my god, there's another wolf there. Oh, they do fight the birds though. Oh, beautiful. No, they like me more. Why does everything want to kill me? Kill each other. 
Come on, have some decency. Okay, and back to the shore we go. <laughs> we gotta establish ourselves before we go inland, man. I need a weapon. Oh, <gasps> a turtle. Oh, <gasps> I'm sorry, turtle. But I, you might have some good loot on you, buddy. <laughs> and for that, you're getting yeeted. Woohoo! That was actually a journey that we, uh, journey step that we had to complete. I'll take it. And there's the level we need to get ourselves something freaking over here. Uh, let's go feats, 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 feats. Do we go for the Voria? The Defender? The Skirmisher? I kind of do like the Skirmisher. But that requires level 6. Uh, we do get multiple points per level up though. So for now, let's definitely just get the weapon. Bro, I need to get a sword going. And it is getting to be kind of dark out. So maybe I will place down Bedroll for now. Except I cannot build here. Oh, that wolf is eating things. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> here we go though, baby. We got a stone sword, a little bit of weaponry will go a long way. With us, you know, not dying and stuff. You guys can see over here, we are starting to get a little bit over encumbered due to everything we're holding. So we probably do want to get some kind of a base built up. And honestly, at this point, maybe we just build... Yeah, like maybe we just build over here on the shore for now. Something a little, little, little bit basic. So we could have at least something to... Uh, call our own so over here we have our first structure let's find somewhere that we can build i kind of want to build up there but we might need to go to battle first luckily we got a sword uh can i get that shield thing i saw that there was also the defender two points i got two points boom shakalaka let's unlock that and can i get a shield to pop in as well beautiful or a bone shield i ain't got the bones for that though uh i gotta get a few more twine how many am i at right now two Let's craft up two of those puppies. And then this shield should be in our grasp and we'll at least have some basic weaponry to fend ourselves off with. Like, better than nothing, am I right? I'm right. Oh, beautiful. And right there, we got the shield. Let's equip that thing. And we can actually do... Oh, mama. A little bit of a lunge there with our right click. It's actually the special attack of the sword. Then if we want to block, we can actually just use left control. Boop. Put our shield up. Dodge. Boop. With left alt, the combat system in Conan Exiles is seriously pretty freaking nifty, especially for a survival game. I know some tend to be pretty basic. Ah! Oh no. Lunge, special attack. Oh, let's uh, uh, dodge it. Look at that, man. Look at that. Yeet. Get dodged. Sweep. Oh no. Oh, uh, block it. Man, look at this. This wolf never stood a chance against me. I love this combat system, dude. Seriously, out of a lot of the survival games I've played, Conan Exiles has a pretty fleshed out one. I think it's gotten some updates too ever since I played it back in the day, which is like, Gorgeous, just like the death of this thing. And all right, I know that we can harvest the corpse with our pickaxe or our axe. Using the axe gets us more hide and stuff, but then we can also switch over to the pickaxe, which gets, which gets us more on the meat side of things, I think. Regardless, the wolf has been harvested and I fear nothing anymore. Oh, can I actually harvest these guys? No, I saw the wolf was eating them, so I was curious. Oh, there's a nest here. Ooh, bro. Yeah, there's going to be an omelet coming our way soon enough, baby. Omelet coming soon. The birds. <laughs> Suck it, birds. That's what you get for attacking me. I brought a wolf here. The wolf killed you guys. I killed the wolf. Life is good. And we got more levels coming our way, baby. All right. Let's focus up on actually building. Oh, mama. I hear the thing. Hello, hello. Dodge it. Look at that. Boom, boom. Oh, block it, block it. Block that hit. Block it. Beautiful. Boop. And oh, dodge. Dodge. That takes a lot of stamina. You got to keep track of that stamina. Oh, I begin to feel weak with hunger in the middle of battle. That's not the time to be feeling weak, dude. All right. We got to shield up. We got to shield up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shield back up. Dodge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Our stamina is way too low for this. Oh, it's not regenerating fast whatsoever. Ah, uh, strike. So, oh, double strike. That double strike does not pay off. Combo. Wombo. A shambo. Bombo. He's dead. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm saying. I'm a lethal weapon now, baby. Ooh, green die. Bro, is that thing about to attack me? I see you lurking over there. I'll let you live, dear. I'm a nice guy. I was looking to be bright out again. Yay. All right. Well, we can go ahead and at the very least put our bedroll down over here. So, bless up. We can actually now spawn here. And y'all can see some of the options. We have to dismantle it, return to the inventory. We can interact with the thing, which is how we can... Sorry about the burp there. Update our spawn point. And uh, I want to go and update our build point. Our base point. I want to build, baby. 
That's exactly what I plan on doing as we continue traveling inwards. But if y'all are liking the Conan Exiles, I love Sipta so far. Like I'm saying, this is a game that we've played in the past. And with this new DLC, it's definitely something I'm open to doing a longer running series on. So make sure to let me know in that comment section down below and or by hitting that like button if it is something that you do enjoy. Because Conan Exiles gets pretty crazy the more you play it as you literally can start building up your own empire of like freaking thralls that you capture bring them back to your base and they start working for you you can equip them with stuff like all sorts of goodies like that and i gotta eat soon so uh, i'm gonna start building up i'll build up a mm, i don't know if i want to build a shelter yet but i will go ahead can i get a campfire here bro i'm hearing some noises i don't like noises uh when it comes to survival though there we go let's get that campfire unlocked Definitely gonna want to build up one of these puppies. Boop. Yeah, your boy's going hungry. I need some branches. Oh no, I'm really starving right now. Ah, eat the feet, the bugs. Okay, those bugs left to tide us over for a little bit. Uh, we gotta stop playing. I gotta pick up some of these branches. I don't think there's. Okay, this gets us a few branches. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get the fire. I need more branches, bro. Come on, man. I got plenty of branches. I got branches for days, brother. Okay, 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 okay. Campfire. Boom. Crafted. So we're gonna go and put that thing down. I'll, I'll just put it down here, man. I'm not gonna put it down at the base, because I'm just trying to, like, get some food built on the ASAPs. Let's open up the campfire here. Interact with that puppy. Uh, because I got plenty of freaking feral flesh that we've gotten, so we're gonna put that in there. And then I gotta put some fuel in there, too. I don't want to put too much. Uh, can I just put in like one log for now? There we go. That yeah, thing's not going to last long at all. So I'll put in a little bit more wood. And now it should burn for a little bit longer. But. Mm. I'm only going to put in like 10 wood. I went ahead and split that up a little bit. Let's get to cooking. And beautiful. We got some shredded roast. Um, nom nom nom. And we can chow down on that thing over there so woohoo let's go we might need to toss in some more wood to continue cooking but before we head out for more adventures we got at least a basic little food supply going that'll keep us going for a while you guys can see in that top left hand corner our food icon looking way more filled over here we're at like 40 out of 100 speaking of which we should have some more levels over here we can level up our survival which helps us uh what you call get i think better returns for the food that we eat and i think it also makes us starve slower so definitely some nice stuff over here on the strength side of things. Each blow you strike with a blunted weapon deals 100% more concussive damage. I was going to say, you can just I'm just going to level up all the strength I got, dude. I'm trying to be a freaking beast. Also, I should level up encumbrance. That helps us freaking hoard more stuff. Wow, I have an awesome beard. Can I just say that? And all right, let's pick up some more of the shredded roast. Chow down on that a little bit. And that should bring us up to, like, pretty much full hunger. And hokey dokey with that, so the final piece of wood that I felt like putting in there is gone. That's okay. The fire will live on for now. We got plenty of food, which I can go ahead and put into our hot bar uh, to keep us company. Y'all can see over there. 17. Yeah. That'll keep us going for a while. Now, this place. Hello, hello, hello. I see wolves. And birds. My two arch nemesis. The South Watch Keep. Alright, well, I think we only have one wolf we gotta deal with, so I should be able to do a good number on this fella. Hello, 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 buddy. How are you doing? Oh, that's a freaking bigger one. Well, I don't seem to care. Oh, that's a tougher cookie. Ah, oh, wombo, combo, oh, big hit. Oh my god, he's a tough one. He did a lot of damage. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm not trying to come back. Uh I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I might want to come back a little bit stronger. Actually, hold on. Can I eat some food? I can, but that's not healing me up. I might want to make some medical supplies. I have angered this thing. Oh, no. This wolf is not happy with my actions. I'm not happy with my actions either. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's not a lot of hope, man. Oh, dodge. Dodge. These are the worst time dodges ever. Hit me already. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Yeah, okay. 
dang it. And there y'all can see our conveniently placed dead body. Good thing I put that bedroll down. That made our life way easier. Is that a rock or the wolf? That's a rock. Okay. Whew. That's getting a little bit suspicious there. We can just go ahead and loot everything up off of our body. I can also harvest the corpse. Uh, yeah, why not? I can do that. Just kind of put all of our stuff back where it belongs. Shredded roast back there. I will get to doing a little bit of building on here, but in the meantime, yeet! I'm harvesting myself. Big brain, baby. <laughs> we can get some hide off ourselves and some bones, so like, might as well. Uh, I'm hearing a little bit of ruckus this way. Could there be more wolves for us to slay? Yeah, there. Oh my god! Oh, big hit! Big hit! I was not expecting this wolf over here. Oh, I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Just gonna keep hitting him. We don't block here. Blocking is for. Okay, hold on. I should probably block. Uh, we were not in full health either, which is kind of annoying. Yeet! 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 Big hit, baby! I love that wombo combo we can whip up. Uh, is that bird dead? Yeah, okay, he's coming for me now. Yeet! Yeet! Oh, birdie, thank you for softening him up! Making my life easier. Oh, mama. Time to harvest. Hey, and all of our harvesting has gotten us a level. You'll love to see it because that will make us stronger, which makes it more likely that we can take down the mongrel over there. Ow. So we got four points over here. So why don't we invest those over into vitality? Get ourselves up to level five. Around level five, it starts taking two points per level. Oh my God. Look at some of these crazy freaking stuff that we're going to be able to build down the line as well. Like, oh mama. Um, but what do we want to work into? Honestly, the bow and arrow might be big. So we'll go ahead and craft that. I believe some better weapons would be good as well. And why don't we get the bruiser too? And there we go. That's everything we need to really go for now. And all right, let's see what this uh, stone club is all about. Because I think this might qualify as one of those blunt weapons we needed. That will then allow us to uh, potentially use that buff we get after we get a few more levels of strength. And we can also compare its damage. Y'all can see over here it does 13 health damage, 24% armor penetration. Versus our stone sword doing 13 and 8% armor penetration. Mm, we can't go with like a two-handed sword like there's so many different things we could roll with mm. And after chopping down another tree, I'm actually gonna take this opportunity here What I want to do what I want to do. Let's get this stone maul a crude two-handed stone a hammer Why don't we try two-handed weaponry a little bit instead of blocking? I can focus more on like just barrel rolling around and stuff like that I think that that might be decent. Oh look at that majestic beast up there no, 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 no. I don't trifle with that yet. Uh, but what I can do is actually go ahead and uh, start building ourselves up. A little bit of a base structure here. I like that idea. And I don't have enough resources to build up the next stone foundation. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What am I missing for my foundation? I need more stone? All right. Well, I got to find me some rocks and get to harvesting. Oh, and we even found some iron stone over here. This will come in handy. We can probably process that into iron which will then uh, lead towards uh, better weapons and or armor also wow the over encumbrance is real dude we are getting really 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 slow but that's okay i'm about to craft all of this stone into a lot of the foundations let's craft up all three of the ones that we can craft hopefully that'll help our little uh, over encumbrance problem boop boop and there we go. It didn't necessarily help right away, but it did help us build these foundations. And then we put the foundations down. We have some inventory room uh, to mess with. So uh, speaking of being over encumbered all the time. Yeah, I want to get a wooden box. I would like, a, I've never been so excited to get a box in my life, but I need this box in my life. And after a little bit more stone, we can continue putting this down. Ultimately, I want to turn this into like a three by three structure, at least for a basic, basic building, right? That's not to say it won't get crazier. We can also switch it up and do Flotsama Foundations, which use more wood and less stone. And I do, after all, have like 200 wood, so might not be the worst idea in the world there, but I'm a sucker for stone, baby. So I think we're going to keep rolling with that. And we can just go ahead and put 100 wood into our wooden box here. And I'll flop that over here, and we can actually now have a little bit of storage. That's what I'm talking about. And I can go and put in so many of these things that I don't really need at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And already been getting a little bit more gathering done. We got some more foundations coming and our first hunting bow. So we can actually have some ranged weaponry added to our combat repertoire. And uh, we're going to see what that's all about after I'm going to continue building my little three by three. Still a work in progress. Still needs walls, but yeah, it'll come in due time. Because we got the hunting bow right now. 
And I'd like to see what that's all about. And maybe, I mean, we are at level 10, so we should be able to level up a little bit more here. Uh, let's go up a little bit more in strength. I do want to get that thuggery perk, but that might be tough. Uh, I digress, though. Over here, we can learn the furniture maker. Ooh, which will then let us do the artisan table so we can craft miscellaneous items. We can also get better armor. Ooh, and the armorer's bench. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to want some better armor for our adventures. So if we want to build that armorer's bench, where are we going to have to do that? Uh, we're going to need a lot of stone and a lot of twine. Okay, we sh I should be able to arrange for that. So what is this? A worker bee? I've captured a bee! Haha! <laughs> I can eat it? Oh no. That's sad. I'm sorry, bee. You might get devoured here, bruv. La di da da da! Picking up plant fiber! And after getting a little bit of stone, I think we should have enough to craft up that, uh, oh so wonderful worker bench that should lead to some better stuff. Oh yeah, I died of thirst over here. Let's uh, don't don't pay too much attention to that. That's just a de decorative dead body. What can I say? <laughs> all right, Amaru's bench. Welcome to the team, baby. And while that's happening, don't mind me. Just just making rigor mortis. Can't harvest what? I can't harvest my dead body this time. I harvested it last time. Wow. Well, that's sad. But in happier news, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, say hello to our brand spanking new Armorer's Workbench. Oh my good, and look at all of these beautiful recipes that we now have at our disposal. Wow, some of those might be a little bit too good for us at the moment, but there should be some reasonable-ish stuff that we can maybe create. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, we got 19 twine, so we should be able to craft up some pretty, like, some things for sure, for sure. And one of which we're gonna want to go ahead and craft up this light chest padding. And then after that gets crafted up, we should then also, do I have more twine or just the 14? Just the 14 twine. Okay, well, I did just use a ton too for this light chest padding, but uh, we got to craft up the padding first and then we should be able to craft up something afterwards. And then after this, I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to craft up a hat after this because I don't have any type of hat whatsoever. But once we get that light chest padding, we now have unlocked the light chest piece, which is definitely a better piece of armor than what we were rocking with before. Then, as I was saying, the hat, we need the light helmet padding boom shakalaka we'll craft up one of that and then we're probably gonna be low on hide after that i don't think we're gonna have much more to play with but that's a-okay that'll get us some nice armor that we did not have before and that we'll be able to uh protect us a little bit protection is good yeah so with that thing getting crafted up the light turban boop, is now in our inventory along with the light chest piece. So we should be able to equip the two of those. Yeah, and we got a little bit more armor. We got some more attributes as well. You guys know me, we're putting that into strength. And we have an extra point that we can go ahead and put into encumbrance. I, I like making sure encumbrance is good to go. And we are as unencumbered as possible. We are over here in the green section, not in one of the heavier sections, which means we should have the most maneuverability possible. Oh, 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 oh. And, 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 and. Uh, arrows. We should be able to craft up... Yeah. Really? Mm, do we want to go with flint head or bone arrows? They both do, like, the same amount of damage. I'll just go with some flint head arrows. Does crafting one literally only get us one arrow, or does it craft up a set of arrows? Okay, so that gets us ten arrows. So yeah, I'll craft up two more of those. We just blew through our branches. We still have some extra stone to go. And, uh, if we go ahead and equip our bow... Ho, ho, ho. Say hello. I gotta load in the ammo, don't I? Okay, I'll put that over there. Let's equip that. And beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. The bow is ours as well. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You'll love to see it. Alrighty, I reckon we're ready for a battle. Actually, before we go to battle, it sounds like something else is attacking us, which should be some good practice. Oh, beautiful. The dodge. Yeet! Oh my god! That is some big damage that the hammer does! Look at it! It's hammer time, baby! Oh no! Hold on, I'm trying to like dodge a little bit. There we go. We got our dodge back. Oh dude, it is hard to go wrong with that. We're definitely a little bit less evasive. 
And we don't have the ability to, uh... Hmm. We're not as fast with it. So maybe we'll rock the stone sword. And along with it, we'll get the shield over here as well. And we'll see if we can't do a number on this fella. Unless, of course, we can end up keeping our range from him. And maybe just, you know, making a rain bow and arrows. Maybe? Boop! Oh. Dude, when that thing happens... Oh, mama, that's a big hit! Oh, mama, dude! Okay, well, that's not the freaking incredible enemy that I thought it was. Oh, baby. Oh, no! I just want to... No! And wrong weapon! Ah! Die! 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 Okay. I thought that was the big kahuna. That was not the big kahuna. That was just a normal freaking... Wolf. It's a little bit disappointing. Still. Wow. If you manage to get that freaking, like, golden sliver to happen with your bow... Bro. That's incredible. Now, I do see that fellow over there. Let's do it, baby. Big hits only. What? Oh, he laid down. Wow. He literally just ducked under our arrow. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Dang it. All right, guys. I have an idea. Oh, mama, look at that parkour in action. I think this should be the perfect vantage point with which to slay this obnoxious little douche canoe. Headshot! Okay, that doesn't even do as much damage as I thought it might. But still, it definitely adds up. He's gonna start running towards us. Oh, that bow is a little bit slower than I anticipated, but what you gonna do, Wolf? You can't get up here. You can't get up here, son! That's parkour in action! Don't tell me he's gonna start running away. Mr. Wolf, where are you running? He got full health? Aw, oh, man. So this might not be as cheeky as I thought. That's unfortunate. Let's just try to get a few hits off on him before he runs over to us. I think that might be the play. He's probably going to run this way. There we go. Can we lead the shot a little bit? Okay, and we're going to get the stamina back, and we're going to go down there. Before he regenerates. I think that's going to be the play. Oh, the oh, barrel. Beautiful, beautiful. Big hit. Big hit. Uh, big hit. Oh, no. There we go. We blocked that. Oh, let's barrel roll away. Hiya. 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 Oh, no. Oh, he does so much damage, though, man. I just don't know if we're going to be able to take this thing down. Oh, no. That was a badly timed barrel roll. Oh, I'm barrel rolling against a tree. That's not what you like to see. Okay, 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 okay. Just come on. Dang, that wolf! But all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after getting my body back, I continue planning my vengeance on that freaking mongrel in that freaking building. We might need to continue leveling up a little bit more, getting some better armor, and I, I think getting a better weapon will be one of the best things that we can possibly do. Because, uh, this very basic warrior class, I don't know if that's exactly going to be cutting it. It's, uh, pretty basic. But the more that we level up, for example, we do start unlocking, like, at level 12 over here. We gotta unlock a few other things, like the blacksmith, which, actually, let's go ahead and unlock the blacksmith, because that'll come in incredibly in handy. So we can then go and start crafting up some better weapons, like, I think iron weapons will definitely... A be nice or the iron mace regardless we also do need to get some iron tools researched as well so boop we'll go ahead and unlock that and then our next course of action is going to be getting the blacksmith furnace and then the blacksmith bench so i think building up the base a little bit more is in order before we plot our way to make our way towards that temple and then continue exploring the world of corn and exiles and making our way towards the tower in the middle oh mama even just on the map, that place looks terrifying. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Conan Exiles. I am of a sip. Make sure that y'all head to that link at the top of the description to go ahead and check it out for yourselves. Again, it is available on PC, Xbox One, and uh, PS4. And I did want to say a huge thank you again to Conan Exiles for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. But yeah, this is going to start bringing an end to this episode of Conan Exiles. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya